So this is just sort of a lesson in etiquette when it comes to dealing with people in the TV film music licensing business and actually honestly the entire world. <laughs> this is just how to properly approach people when you want to do business with them, okay? I'm going to go through the wrong way right now so you know that if you're doing this to people when you interact with them, especially with your music, you're never going to get results. I can guarantee you that you will never get said yes to. Nobody will offer you a contract. Nobody will even respond to your emails, okay? Approaching somebody and saying, hey, um, give me this, give me that, listen to my music, give me feedback, I want this, give me that. It doesn't matter what you're asking for. Walking up to somebody or emailing them or Facebook chatting them, whatever it is, and just demanding things or even just asking for things right off the bat puts you in a very weak position in terms of being able to have influence over that person, right? This is kind of some like laws of power 101 here, okay? When you approach somebody and you wanna work with them, the first thing you should be considering is what do they need? What are their wants? What are their desires? What are their fears? Think about them, right? Get out of what's in it for you. Think about what you can do for them, right? Um, this is like sales 101 as well. If you wanna sell somebody on something and every time you send your music to somebody, you send your music to me or you send your music to any music library, you're selling yourself, you're selling your music, aren't you? So rather than saying, here's my music, give me. Give me, give me, give me, I want feedback, I want the, now you might think like, well feedback, what's the big deal? I'm not asking for a lot. You are, if you're asking for anybody's time and I'm talking about you're asking for even just 30 seconds of somebody's time. If you're asking for 30 seconds of my time, you're asking for a lot. That is a lot of time actually in my world that I value my time so high. In fact, these days, as I'm getting older, I value my time way more than I value my money. If I can save time and save headache, I'll pay money for that. I will absolutely pay uh, large numbers of, of dollars to get rid of wasting time or wasting energy or having headaches in my life, okay? So when you're approaching me in a proper method and in a respectful method, a manner, I'm more than willing to want to help you out and do those kind of things. And I know everybody else will too. But when you're just approaching somebody with this me first attitude and this narcissistic thing that happens with a lot of artists and a lot of producers is they think that their music is God's gift to mankind and everybody should just be falling all over themselves to you know, take advantage and, and love their music and pay them and, and provide them with all sorts of rewards. You're just, you're lost in your own world. You got to kind of pull your head out of the sand and realize you're not the center of the universe, okay? So rather than thinking about yourself when you approach, think about what the needs of the person are. Now, when you're talking about music libraries, what you, be, you should be doing is saying, what catalog needs do you have, right? So in your current catalog, I've listened to it. I've noticed you guys are kind of short on an orchestral trailer type tracks. So guess what? I have 20 tracks ready to go. I've already composed them. They're mixed, they're mastered. And by the way, here's a quick link so you can preview a lot of them and you can check them out right away. We can get these things released to you as soon as tomorrow. How powerful of a pitch is that, right? Like you've done all the work, you've done all the homework and you're starting with, let me help you guys out. You guys look like you might need something that can help you with your clients, right? And I have a product or a service that can fulfill that need become useful to people, right? That's the theme of this entire video. Start becoming useful to somebody and you'll see much better results when you approach them, okay? Um, this just came up in my world because I've been getting a lot of emails, YouTube comments and all that kind of stuff and there's so much of a demanding tone lately with some of the people that are contacting me that I feel this is a great PSA to put out to say, knock it off. Stop doing that. Stop demanding that people, and if they don't, I mean, this is the next thing. If you reach out to somebody, right, and you send them your tracks and you say, hey, would you please do this? Would you please give me that? And you're just asking for things, even if you're being polite, and the person who you ask to do things for you doesn't do them for you, and you, you come back at them and say, how dare you? I thought you cared about people like me. I thought that you were about the little guy. Why don't you wanna listen to my music? I, 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 you're a scammer, you're a fraud. Well, that surely makes me want to go listen to your music now and do and actually take time out of my day to go help you out now, right? Come on. You know, you, you kick and scream when you don't get what you want. What you're doing is you're throwing a tantrum. I don't deal with toddlers, right? I don't deal with people who throw tantrums. I deal with adults. If you're willing to be an adult about things and you're willing to be uh, patient and understand that I get 
at least for my situation, I get dozens of emails every single day with tons of tracks and I respond to as many. I give a lot of free feedback out there. Many of my subscribers can tell you that I'm very generous with that, but the tone has to be right. The, the, the method that you're approaching me has to be right. I don't necessarily expect you to offer me something and in return, but just have the right tone, the right approach, um, and, and just be a pleasant person, at least through email. And if I have time, I'll be happy to give you some feedback if I can, right? Some days, some weeks, I don't have any time, right? And you gotta just accept the fact that that's just the same thing for music libraries. That's the same thing for everybody, the record labels, anybody you're sending your music to, not everybody can revolve around you as the center of the universe. And you, you better get that through your head right now that you are not the center of the universe. Everybody is their center of their own universes, right? I'm the center of my own, right? My needs of my career come first, above and beyond everything else in my life. I have to maintain my income, right? I have bills to pay. And if something I'm doing for my YouTube channel or my syndicate or whatever gets in the way of me creating an income for myself, I can't help anybody else unless I'm helping myself first, right? This is kind of like this sort of uh, a righteous selfishness that you gotta get used to, that you gotta take care of yourself first. If you're sick, if you're ill, if you're broke, if you can't provide for yourself, how the hell can you provide for anybody else in your life? You can't, right? So take care of yourself first and just realize that when I'm not able to approach or, or you know respond to everybody's email all the time, it's because I'm taking care of myself first so that once I have my needs met, then I have the free time to go and provide you know free knowledge, free education, free feedback, all the things that I do here through the channel and through my email. So I just wanted to reiter reiterate that for you today. Be aware of how you're approaching people, be useful to them, and stop getting in your own way in terms of um, not allowing people to really fall in love with you and your music because when you're just so self-absorbed and you're just always asking for what can you do for me, what can you do for me, you're gonna repulse a lot of people in this business.